So we're going to show you a documentary today and um, the documentary is about three ex Manchester City players and there was an unveiling of a statue outside of the Colin Bell stand on Monday. Can anybody tell me who the three players are? <coughs> Mike Summerby is one of them. This is Colin Bell. Colin Bell's another one. Yeah, to give you that one. Here we are. Anybody know the other one? Yeah. Francis Lee. So these three players played for the club in the 60s and 70s. I knew they were famous and played for Man City. I knew that they were big legends. I didn't really know a lot, to be fair. I knew obviously those are iconic uh, legends, really, for the club. Just from the way I've heard people talking about them and the things they say, I could tell that they were like club legends and they were rated very highly. Getting over the line and winning the second division. They're really dominant in what they're doing. How much they contributed and helped the team to victories. How they helped Man City to win the European Cup. That was a lot tougher than people make it out to be and they learned about all the attributes that it takes to reach the highest level as a footballer. They were probably three of the best players, the most key for winning their trophies and that, um, the pitches were pretty, pretty bad. And that excitement. I think that it's a very good way to represent what they have achieved throughout the career. Yeah, I think it's very realistic and yeah, it's inspirational as well. I think it's like, quite accurate for how the players looked. I think it's a nice touch as well that they put all the other players on. Yeah, you know, just to commemorate them as well. Many personalities make a good team, and it's not about being being the perfect player is about being yourself and being the best version of yourself. We need to work hard and we're privileged to be in the situation that we are. We can just like see how good they did and use all the things we have available to us now to work as hard as we can and do as good as we can. It just um, gives I think, other players inspiration as well to replicate them. It helps recognise what they did and how important they were at the time of that success. Honouring your legends, it can show the future players and the future generation what they can achieve and what has been achieved in the past for the club and things that they can work towards. They feel that they can do it one day and then they can have a statue themselves and it might inspire them. Yeah, I think it's massive, that sort of thing, because obviously you're trying to that the attacking players will try and emulate them. I think it can make them want to work harder for the club and because it can be someone's dream to to have that statue be of them. Just having the impact of uh, being dedicated like they said they were. Just never giving up even if the conditions are against you or things aren't going your way. Just always being able to pick yourself back up and keep working hard. 